Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of age of Amen. Christos vos gratis mante, smantios mantola, itim shovroba, jetia. within me bless his holy name bless the lord O my soul and forget not all the blessings that he renders to you for he is gracious about all your iniquities he is the healer of all your infirmities the redeemer of your life from corruption who in his mercy and tender love awards you a crown the lord is compassionate and merciful long-suffering and very merciful Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, I God, your Savior, people, and bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, and glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not or put our hope in you. O Tuya Vlada, Yetoy Sarasfo, 
и целый славу от я и сена, и святого духа ныне посяча, и на веки веки. So I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will sing praises to my God for as long as I live. Put not your trust in rulers, in the sons of men in whom there is no salvation. In spirit will depart from him, and to his earth he will return. On that day, all his plans perish. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and did will for our salvation to become incarnate of the Holy Theotos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man, and were crucified, O Christ God, trampling down death, begun with the Holy Trinity. Glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Shaisha Mary, Hospita, we pomonimo. Hospiti pomiloi. Hospiti pomiloi. Hospiti pomiloi. Hospiti Hospiti kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
Blessed are you when they shall revile and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for the great is your reward in heaven. Worship and, worship and bow down before poor Christ, O Son of God, dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The noble Joseph took took your most pure body down from the tree, having wrapped it in a clean shroud with aromatic spices that he laid it in a tomb. But you arose on the third day, O Lord, granting the world great mercy. <coughs> You commanded the myrrh bearers to rejoice. You stopped the lamentation of Eve. By your resurrection, O Christ God, you commanded your apostles to preach. The Savior is risen from the tomb, now and ever unto... Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. You did descend into the tomb of a mortal one, and destroy the power of Hades. You did arise as victor, Christ God, proclaiming to the murmuring women, rejoice. You granted peace to your apostles and bestowed resurrection upon the fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, O our God, and unto you we send up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen.
both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Prochemian in the sixth tone. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. My God, be not silent unto me. Save your people. The reading is from the Act of the Holy Apostles. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplying, there arose a great complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists, because their widows were neglected in daily distributions. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples to them and said, It is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Therefore, brethren, seek out among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith of the Holy Spirit, 
and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Perimenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of the Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of God spread, and the number of disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. Peace be to you, O readers, and to your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom. O Lord, you have been gracious unto your land. You have turned back the captivity of Jacob. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Magdalena, Maria, Mate, Joseva, 
дивились я, диховали його, як минула же субота, Марія Магдалина і Марія Якова, і Соломо, Соломея, як у пили пахошив. Що пити і намастити його, а не світатку я першого і тижні, як сходило сонце до порбу воли прибули і говорили одна одне хто відвали нам каменя від могили двері а зі руки уще побачили що каме вивали вивалени і був вже він дуже великий, і вийшовши до горбу, побачили там юднака, що прав, праворуч сидів, і був одягини вибину. О, Держу і хванулись вони, а він промовля до них, не жахайця, відшукає розп'ятого Ісуса Назарина від воскрес. Немає його тут. Ось місця, де його похвали були, але іди, скажеть уч, учням його та Петрові, він і Галилею попердував. Нам нього ви побачите, як він вам говорив, а як вийшли вони, то побігли від горбу, бо їх терпе та страх огорну. І не сказав ніком нічого болі. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the evangelist Mark. Let us be attentive. At that time Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked, for the body of Jesus, and Pilate wondered if he had, were already dead, and summoning, summoning the centurion, he asked him whether Jesus was already dead, and when he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph, and he brought, bought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud, and laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb, marrying Magdalene, and Mary, the mother, mother of Joseph, saw where he was laid. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome brought spices to that, so that they might also go, so that they might go and anoint him. And very early in the morning on the first day of the week, They came to the tomb at the rising of the sun, and they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? 
and looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe. And they were amazed and said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Laid him, but go. Tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. And they went out quickly and fled from the tomb. For trembling and astonishment had come upon them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. do we commemorate the, the myrrh-bearing women, but we celebrate our mothers. And it's very, it's, it, I always find it very joyful when these two days coincide and, and fall together. Because it, uh, often in the world around us, in the, and for some, some cultures, mothers or women, I should say women, are, are seen to hold different roles or that they are considered at one point even in our North American society that to be less, less important. You know, there was a time when women couldn't vote, women weren't allowed to drive, women couldn't do... Th- do various things. You know, the idea was that uh, a woman, a, a mother, or a wife was to be in the home, tending to the children, cooking the dinners, cleaning the house, making sure that everything was just pristine in the home and perfect. But we've changed. Things have changed. But the one thing that has been constant is the role of women in the church. The role of women in the church stems from this very group of women that we commemorate today, the myrrh-bearing women. Throughout the time of Christ's crucifixion and the days after, and of course, the day of His resurrection, these women were there. They were, you could say, part of the larger entourage, but probably the the more prominent group that followed or was around Christ as he went about his ministry. And we don't always know who all of these women are. So I want to point out first who they are. So the first one, which we always, we all know very, very easily, is Mary Magdalene who had been healed of the, of the evil spirits that she was possessed with. And, and she was often, it, it, it's said that she was an adulterer. Most of the world believes that. It never says that in Scripture. The, she's linked often with the woman who was about to be stoned for being an adulteress. But this is not accurate. But Christ healed her of the, of the, the, the demons. Then the second is the daughter of Joseph the betrothed. You could say Jesus' stepfather. This is the, his, Joseph's daughter 
Salome. She is one of the second. So for those who, who sit there and go, Christ Jesus, he had brothers and sisters. Absolutely he did. We see this here in to re- referencing Joseph's daughter. We often forget Joseph was married. He had children, but his wife passed away. And that's why Mary came into his household to tend to his children, to assist him. Because he was an older man by this time that they were betrothed. So uh, Jesus' stepsister, Solomea, was one of the uh, myrrh-bearing women. Then, and she was, now this is interesting, she was not just Joseph's daughter, but she was the wife of Zebedee. The sons of Zebedee, James and John. We hear of James and John. John becomes the John the theologian and the apostle James. Now these are Salome's children. So look at Christ's extended family was around. This this step family as we would call in, in today's society. Then we hear of Mary, the mother of James the Lesser, and Joseph. Then we have the third mer- mer- the, the another one is Joanna. And Joanna was the wife of Shazia. Now this is this person, this man. He was an administrator in the house of King Herod. So it's quite interesting. Now now we're seeing all of these links. These these women were were connected, you could say, we would say in today's society. They knew people. They were married to people. So they were able to keep the pulse, you could say, on, on what was happening. That's why... When it came time that Joseph of Arimathea was taking Christ down from the the cross to bury him, they knew. You know, some of them were at the cross. Some of them might have been around and, and heard that Joseph had asked for the body of Christ from Pilate. So they were quickly gathering or making their plans to go and see where he was going to be buried. So these myrrh bearing women. They weren't just random people. And then, of course, we know the, a few more of Mary and Martha, the, the sisters of, of Lazarus, and then Mary, the wife of Cleopas. And it's interesting. The wife of Cleopas. Cleopas was the one with Luke who heard or who was walking on the road after the resurrection and didn't recognize that Christ was walking and talking with them until they stopped in a home for the evening and to have uh, to break bread and when Christ broke the bread in other words they had communion they recognized so Cleopas was one of the 70, was one of the broader group of apostles. And it was his wife that was following, that was one of the myrrh-bearing women. So these women are mothers, sisters. And they're tending to Christ. Just like all of our mothers do tend to their families. They tend to things at all costs. They're willing to put themselves out there. They're willing to be the ones that sacrifice everything they have, everything they've achieved, so that their children 
can have the best opportunity so their children might be safe, be looked after. It's so significant that we take these opportunities to re realize this, to realize that our mothers aren't just that person who, who gave birth to us or who maybe in the sense of a stepmother as the Theotokos was to, to Joseph's children. That a mother is the one who gives that ultimate sacrifice. As when the Most Holy Theotokos, when they brought Christ into the temple and came upon the prophetess Anna and, si and Simeon, the prophetess Anna talked about how the Theotokos was going to suffer and to feel such a great loss, have her heart ache. Because she was willing to give everything even though she knew it was going to be at the loss of her son. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us not forget the importance of our mothers. Let us recognize that whether they be a living with us in this world still today or have passed on from this life, that their memories be eternal, the work that they have done be recognized, and that the first opportunity we have to say thank you, to realize that none of us would be here without them, literally. Literally. They, as my own, the Brodica, my the mother of my children, is doing her due diligence today, making sure they can commit to the obligations that they have committed to, tending to everything so that they can have their joy and fun as all of the mothers do. Let us, on this great and joyous day of Mother's Day, of the Sunday of the Murbering Women, reflect and realize that the first w people to learn of the resurrection of our Lord, they weren't the apostles but it was the women, the mothers, the sisters. And it was them that brought the good news of the resurrection to the apostles. So let us realize that in the church are women, as we have the perfect example with the Holy Theotokos up in front of us. Our women, our mothers, are the most important part and we should embrace them, love them, and thank them in all aspects that they give and commit to each and every one of us. Christ is in our midst. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God, of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for His grace, our Bishop Elidion, for our brethren, the presbyters, priests, monks, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God, loving and God, 
God protect your country, Canada, its government, armed forces, that the Lord God will help them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Orthodox patriarchs, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all Orthodox Christians, be part of this life before us, who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, salvation, God's visitation, the forgiveness and remission of sins for the servants of God, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray you, O Lord our God, hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy upon your servants, the priest Saras, the priest Michael, the priest Oleg, the Brigitte Diana, the Brigitte Catherine, the Brigitte Maria, the priest Nicholas, Anastasia, Ron, Valerie, Joanne, Danica, Julian, Kira, Steve, Larry, all, Ollie, Claudia, and protect them from all affliction, evil, wrath, danger, necessity, from spiritual and physical illness, and grant them health and long life. We beseech you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, God, that you'll grant unto your servant, Fergus, Frank, Donna, the project again, and the priest, Eugene, healing from their illness, from every malady, raising them from their bed. Give them health and soul and body. We beseech you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to the Lord our God that he will hearken unto the voice of the prayer of us sinners and protect all Ukrainian people in difficult trials and time of war for their liberation and have mercy upon his servants, all Ukrainian armed forces, personnel defending Ukraine from occupation, and that our all merciful Lord will shield them from fatal wounds, from all spiritual and physical illness, and that he will protect them from all affliction, wrath, anger, and sorrow in time of war, and that he will grant unto them grant them to return from war in good health, uninjured and blessedness through the prayers of the holy archangel. Michael, all merciful Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Look down from your dwelling place on high, O Lord our God, and as, as a good and merciful one, ease the anguish, misfortune, distress, and sorrow of your Ukrainian people in time of war, especially refugees, children, the infirm, the aged. Manifest your might, come and protect them all that the enemy would not rejoice in the sight of our death. We pray you, O most merciful Lord, through the prayers of the Holy Lady of the Theotokos, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Jesus, our merciful one, O our Savior, look upon your people in Ukraine in time of war. The whose sons and daughters, all refugees deprived of human shelter, wander about the earth, fleeing from horrors and of war and death. Manifest your mercy before us sinners and grant shelter to all Ukrainian refugees and bless all those who offer them shelter and aid through the prayers of the holy hierarchs, Nicholas, the wonder worker, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, can we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy, all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who are present to await your great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful God and lover of mankind, and you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Amen. We give thanks to you, O Lord, God of hosts, for you made us worthy to stand even now before your holy altar and to bow down before your to bow down before your compassion for our sins and for the failings of the people. 
Accept our prayer, O God, and make us worthy to offer you prayers and supplications and bloodless sacrifices for all your people. Enable us whom you have placed in this, your ministry, by the power of your Holy Spirit, to call upon you at all times and all places, without condemnation or offense, but with a clear conscience that hearing us, you may be merciful to us according to your great goodness. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Again and oftentimes we fall down before you and we pray to you, O good one and lover of mankind. Though looking down upon our petition, you would cleanse our souls and bodies from all the fallen with the flesh and spirit, and grant us to stand blameless and without condemnation before your holy altar. Grant also to those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them to worship you blamelessly with fear and love and to partake without condemnation of your holy mysteries and to be accounted worthy of your heavenly kingdom. That ever guarded by your might may send up glory unto you, to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age of
Archbishop, His Grace, the Lady on Bishop of Edmonton, the Western Apparchy, local tenants of the Metropolitan Throne, all Orthodox hierarchs, the Honorable Priesthood, the Diaconates, and Christ the Monastic Rings, those who minister and those who sing in this Holy Temple, may Lord God remember in His Kingdom, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Bom Jubim, Bom Bereshe, Krainas, Kanadu, Zawudyavis Hoka, Udyavis Hoka, so do this get your home, the Kai Pong in the hospital boy sars between Zaush and any put your child in a Viki Viki. Our God, beloved in God, protected ancestral homeland Ukraine, all her people, governments, and armed forces. May the Lord God remember this kingdom always, now and ever into the age of the Vajas, the honorable and ever memorable founders, benefactors, and parishioners of this holy temple. May the Lord God remember this kingdom always, now and ever into the age of the Vajas, you and all Orthodox Christians. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever unto the ages of age of oh, Amen. That we may receive the King. May
visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God, of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary to be man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who speak through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I await the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand upright, let us stand in fear, let us be attentive that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. We lift them up to the Lord. 
It is proper and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in an essence and undivided. To sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, and to thank you, and to worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, ever the same. You and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of nothing into being, and when you fell, and when we fell, you raised us up again, and it did not cease to do everything and you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all things we thank you, and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all things done on our behalf, that which we know and that which we do not know, for blessings manifest and unseen. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you please to accept from our hands, even though you're surrounded by thousands of archangels, by tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the six wing, many eyes soaring aloft on their wings. Is new pedemos be by you, be lost, you be click, you be promo, you singing the triumphant hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the master, lover of mankind, we too cry out and say, Holy are you, on all holy, and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you on all holy and magnificent is your glory for you so love the world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Having come and having fulfilled all the dispensation for us and that he was given up, or rather gave himself up for life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed us, sanctified it, broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ease of my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Petis ne se se kro, poi on the voz of Esau, shalavas, on the prolevites, and the vipushi, and the drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, and sits the right hand, second glory, coming again. Yours, everyone, we offer to be affable, and for all. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks unto God cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most holy spirit, playing apostles, to take it from us, so good enough to renew to pray unto you. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew, renew a right spirit within me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most holy spirit, playing apostles, do not take it from us, so good enough to renew to pray unto you. Cast me not away from your presence, take not your holy spirit from me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most holy spirit, playing apostles, do not take it from us, so good enough to renew to pray unto you. And make this bread to be the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Making the change by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. That they may be to those who partake for the purification of soul, for the forgiveness of sins, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards you, not for judgments or condemnation. Again, we offer into this great rational worship for the, those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made per perfect in faith. O sobrevo da presa tu precesso provo savanna tu primo bordeccio nascio, borro tu tu presa di voi, Maria, especially from a soul most pure, most blessed and glorious that is yet all cost and ever virgin, Mary. and eternal life, especially all of our departed mothers who we remember here today, and grant them rest where lights of your countenance shines. Again, we entreat you, remember, O oh Lord, all the Orthodox of history, where they teach the word of your truth. All the priests, the deacons, and Christ in every order of clergy, again, we offer into this reasonable worship for the holy whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who live in chastity, holiness of life, for all civil authorities, grant O oh Lord, peaceful times that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. Om nai pashya pomnen the hospital blood de kondash ho, presha shani sholari ono apisko podmantonu zakedoi eparki, mese plus tete ya mestru polecha i katedri, i doru ye yo ho, ye, the twin says from chopule bone i mere bereje, pochesi sorave do hoche, he brought David of Charles, Slovis, where he kissed the name. city in which we dwell in every city and country, those who dwell in faith, remember, O oh Lord, the travelers by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember, O oh Lord, those who bring offerings and do good works in your holy churches. Those who remember the poor and upon us all send forth your mercy. And grant that with one mouth and one heart may praise your most honorable, majestic name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. How you remember all the saints again and again in peace and his pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the 
fresh and gifts offering consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having received them on his holy heavenly and ideal altars and offering spiritual fragrance, may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our from danger and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That his holy name may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. And in the face of faithful guiding, guarding our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Forgive us for remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All that has been beneficial for our souls and peace for the world, let us Ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Now we will lead the remaining time of our life in peace, repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Let us remain life painless, blameless, and peaceful. Good defense before the judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Now we ask for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves in one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. Ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake with the clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries of the sacred and spiritual table for the forgiveness of sins, pardon of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you, not for judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, with boldness and without condemnation to dare call on you, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Otcha nashri sana ne besach, nechai svetet seviat vaya, nechai pejde tsarstvo tvoya, nechai bude vaya tvoya, yak na nebi taki na zemli, kliep naš na sušti dajnem cihodni. I prostje nam proveni naši, jak i me proščajem venovat sem našem. I ne vede nas v spokusu, ali vezvala nas vid lukavoho. kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Of. Amen. May in peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To and brought all things out of nothing listen to being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads unto you. They bowed not to flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, you shall distribute these gifts here set forth unto all of us for good according to the individual needs. Sail those who tra sail, travel those who travel, heal the sick of physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercy, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good life, and spirit, now and ever unto the ages. Of age of oh, 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 Attend the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, out of the holy dwelling place, from the throne of the glory in your kingdom, and come. 
to sanctify us who sit on high with the Father who and are also invisibly present among us, and grant that by your own mighty hand your per, pure and precious blood might be given to us and through us to all the people. Let us be attentive the holy things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your own pre most pure body, and that this is your own most precious blood. Therefore I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your most pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies. Neither like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the thief I will confess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be neither to my judgment nor condemnation, but unto the healing of soul and body. Amen.
with the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Savior and the Lord of mine, my humble heart will take eternal and ever-living God. My humble heart will take Salvation cup I accept is holy body and blood. On God's name I shall call the giver of life eternal. On God's name I shall call the giver of life eternal. and tears 
to God on high, I will pray. Through repentance and tears, to God on high, I will pray. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Christos vos kras, Christos vos kras, vos kras, vos kras, is merte. Smerti u smerns dolau, smerti u smerns dolau. Item šohroba, item šohroba, žeťa, žeťa. Always now and ever unto the age of age of Amen. Let your mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you made us worthy. To partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia. Yeah, it's my 
Sunday, the third Sunday of Pascha, the Murbury women, but most specifically, of course, on the Mother's Day. I greet all of our mothers here today. I thank you for, for coming, and uh, we, we do have a little uh, gift for our, our mothers, of course, as you come forward for the veneration of the icon. Um, one, uh, a few announcements. Uh, I'll begin by saying, following the veneration of the cross, uh, or the veneration of the icon, all are welcome to join us in the hall as we are beginning our fellowship lunches again. So please come and, and join us. We've got, uh, I, I heard that there's chicken soup and uh, a few other uh, good uh, things. So if you are able to, no, if you don't have uh, Mother's Day brunch plans or something, please come in and join us over in the hall. Um, as well, You'll see there's a basket up at the front. From now until the end of the summer, so until the end of August, we are going to have a second collection after every Sunday Divine Liturgy. Um, this is to collect funds for the, uh, the Western Eparchy um, and, and Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada Humanitarian Aid Fund, um, which is going to... Uh, go directly to the Orthodox Church of Ukraine um, for Metropolitan Epiphany to uh, use for the efforts um, that he is, is doing in Ukraine. So we are still collecting, of course, funds to assist the refugees locally that uh, displace people that come uh, over uh, all of this, the, the situation. Um, we, we are still collecting for that, but this is going to be specific. Um, for to support the the church, uh, the national church endeavors um, to support Ukraine um, in this way. Uh, so we you'll see this basket um, every every Sunday uh, up until the end of the summer. Um, so please consider uh, making co a contribution. Um, we are slowly winding down to the end of our. Orthodoxy 101 uh, season for the spring. This month will will be uh, we'll be drawing to a conclusion at the end of this month. Our Orthodoxy 101. Um, so it, of course it has been virtual. If you are able to join, um, I encourage you to do so. Especially the 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 last Thursday of the month, as we will discuss a little bit of. Uh, I'll open it to a bit of a discussion as to what. Um, we will do in the fall, um, whether continuing a virtual format um, and and getting some feedback from uh, from all of you. So, if you're able to join, it will be of course at 7:30 on Thursday evening. Um, there are 
many, many things happening still. We have our pierogi dinners or our Ukrainian dinners, um, our frozen food sales, um, the pierogi making, um, and, and all of these events still happening. Please, they're in the bulletin. Um, if you are able to assist or you want to come and get a, a meal at the end of the month, um, you follow the information in the bulletin and, and join us for these events. Um, next month, just as uh, two notes, it is the Sabor, our National uh, Church Council, um, from the 15th to the 19th of June. Um, we have delegates that are assigned already to go, um, but there will be no services on the 19th of June in our uh, district uh, because of the Sabor. I will be in Edmonton myself. Um, but uh, we do have our regular liturgy on the uh, 12th. But also, we haven't, we're out of restrictions and everything now, so we're, we're into doing our celebrations as we do normally. And our sister church um, of All Saints in Kamloops on June 26th will be celebrating their Chramatosiata, their parish feast day, their, sa their saint day for their, their temple. The, of all saints so on the 26th of june um there will be uh, more information to to follow uh, but please mark that and consider if you're able to tra travel to kamloops for their Kram, uh their parish feast day to support the community there in uh, this joyous celebration and last but most importantly as we come are in our our uh, resurrection season the next weekend i am here for services the 28th and the 29th on saturday may 28th beginning at three o'clock p.m i will be gathering going to the city cemetery to do the grave blessings so on the 28th at 3 p.m at the city cemetery and then on sunday uh, following our Divine Liturgy and Fellowship, uh, at 1.30, we'll be gathering at uh, Lakeview Cemetery for the blessing of the graves. Now, some might, may not be familiar with this, the, this practice and wonder, who goes? Who comes? Everybody is welcome to come, whether you know people in the, that you have family buried in the cemetery or not. Um, it's, it is like caroling for this time of year. It's us bringing the good news of the resurrection, resurrected Lord, to those in the tombs. As we know, Christ opened the tombs and, and raised all of those people who had passed away when he resurrected from the dead. So we come and bless and, and bring greetings and, and share the joyous celebration with all of them. So if you are able to, you're welcome to join. Just look for my silver van and you'll find us uh, um, around um, at the the city cemetery will be starting at the back um, this year um, so that means uh, for Irena's family we'll be starting um, at the back for for all of all, all of those in the city cemetery and work towards the front um, so uh, you can follow us or you can uh, just gather at the grave and and I will find you um, when we're, we're going up through the cemetery. With that, I thank you. I pray that you have a blessed Mother's Day, all of you mothers, and I invite you all forward for the veneration of the icon. Christ is in our midst. Christos is in our midst.